Welcome back. Well, if you're looking for the perfect solution, you're heading out to the water, can't decide if you want to fly fish or maybe spin cast. If you're looking for the total solution, look no further than Passport. I'm here with Juan and Randy, and I tell you what, guys, you do have the perfect solution. I really like this because I could grab this, head out to the water, not knowing maybe what conditions are right for each type of fishing. I'm going to have a solution for both. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the idea was to build two rods, I mean three sets to combine a fly rod and a spinning rod. Uh, wherever you can go, you can have the solution for this situation. Many fishes, we, we've been fishing many places in the world where you don't know what, what's going to happen. So if you go to a place and you are going to fly fishing, okay, if the conditions are good, do it. But if the conditions are not good, you don't want to be at the lodge all day long. So you can grab your spinning rod and go out and fish. That's what you like to do. Well, you know, Randy, I think that the opposite is also true, especially with those who are just starting to dip their toe into the fly fishing world. Going out, uh, maybe spin casting, and you determine that the conditions are right, that maybe you can practice some fly fishing, you've got a solution. Absolutely. You know, we have three models, a light, a medium, and a heavy. The light is a six weight with a matching spinning rod. The medium is an eight weight with a matching spinning rod. The heavy is a 10 weight with a matching spinning rod. We don't have a big selection of 30 rods to choose from. We've narrowed it down to three, and we want to keep it simple for people when they want to go fishing for whatever they may want to fish for, our rods are going to accommodate them. Well, you know, not only that, this is going to be perfect for a guy like me on the go. I can grab this, throw it in my, uh, uh, my checked bag, and, or I can even carry that on because it's certainly going to fit in the overhead. And then if I get there and want to fish, I'm going to be able to do so. Yes, we designed the case to fit in any standard luggage that you may use. And you can still bring the bag, the case with you on the plane. So it's, it's good to go, ready to go. And it's really going to add protection to our rods as well, it's strong enough that I guess you can stomp on it and it's not going to affect the contents. Uh, you and me could stomp on it. <laughs> now that is proof of the pudding as well. And but it's light, I mean, it's very light. It, it, it's just two pounds. I mean, for yeah, it, it has the rods inside. So it's very light. You can put in your luggage. It, it's, it, it's not adding a lot of weight to your I mean, to your luggage. And Randy, this, these rods are really going to be laden with features as well, so we're going to be able to communicate what's on the other end of the line. Oh, absolutely. You know, the construction of these rods is a, a 55 million modulus graphite. It's not a real high tensile graphite that's going to be brittle. We wanted something middle of the road with good sensitivity and our breakage factor. We don't want that. So our materials are the best. Fuji guides, Fuji reel seats. And we've tried to combine the, the best components with the right blank so it's comfortable for everybody. The package comes in a set with a spinning rod and a fly rod. So when you buy this, you get two rods in your case to go fishing. And we have a four-part and a three-part. A three-part spinning rod, seven feet long, a nine-foot fly rod, four-piece. And I guess the real proof is, you know, our fishermen buying them, and I guess they're going off the shelves faster than you can keep them in stock. Oh, yeah. Well, the point is that me and Randy, we have been fishing for a long time. We are young people, but we have been fishing many places in the world, and we travel a lot. So we were discussing the solution for this particular traveler fisherman. And we found, I mean, this is what I do for myself. And I wanted to share with the fishing community because this is a solution for the traveling angler. You go to a place, you don't, you may know what, well, you can expect, but you know something happens, something a storm or whatever, then you have a different choice, a different well, option. And coming from you, Juan, that really means a lot from both of you. I mean, you're really pros, and I understand that you can keep 50 feet of line in the air at once. Is that right? Oh yeah, no, well, it's a well, it's a fly casting record in Argentina. It's not as long as here because, well, we are not as professional there. You know, down there, we go fishing, uh, but we, we still cast. And this helps me to be in tournaments, helps me and Randy to, you know, to get an edge. 
that could help a common angler to to catch more fish. That it's that's the idea. If you could catch more fish, okay, it's it's better than less. Andy, Randy, as a professional angler, I mean, you've got a number of checks as well that have come in that uh, have supported you over the years. So it's really something that you uh, put your stamp of approval on this. Well, it was an opportunity for me to uh, work with these guys and take all the years of experience. I've been building fishing rods since I was 10 years old. 40 years I've been doing this, and if I can't share the knowledge and share what I've learned over the years, then it's really wasted stuff, and, and I like sharing stuff with people that appreciate it and recognize the hard work that someone's already done, so you don't have to. Well, I tell you what, two rods in one, and we're going to be able to fish no matter what kind of fishing it is. With that said, I know you have the attention, our anglers out there. Randy, what's the best way for them to learn more about passport rods? They can always go to flyandfisherman.com, and we have everything on the website there. Then you can look at the rods and the specs and the information's on the website. Easy enough. Well, guys, thanks so much for being on. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. It was a pleasure.